Hello to everyone. Today we discuss about the electrical drive block diagram. So generally any topic we have to know the applications of the electrical drive. So electrical drive applications are for example fans, pumps, washing machines, machine tools, drill machines, paper mills. So like that many are there. So observe the applications point of view all type of listed above are the controlling that means speed controlling some of the applications are required variable speed some of the applications are required fixed speed so like that that means we have to control the speed of the motor so first uh, the definition of the trail we will see systems employed for motion control are called drives that meaning is the motion control. Observe here, motion control, that means any appliances. Appliances have the motion controlling. That uh, motion control of the appliances by the any device is called as the drive. Coming to the electrical drive, these drives employing electric motors, that is called electrical drives. That means appliances control, that appliances we are using here is the motors electric motors so it is called as the electric drives so observe here the block diagram these are the parts of the electrical block diagram source or supply that is connected to the power modulator power modulator is connected to the motor motor is connected to the load observe here this is the appliances this is the device. This device is controlling our motion control. Is the device is controlling the motor speed. That motor speed is controlling the load. Load means here, for example, you have to take the turbine. The speed of the turbine is controlled by the motor. Motor speed is controlled by the devices. This is called as the electric drive and also these four parts is called as the whenever you draw the electrical circuit diagram it is called as the power circuit so next one we go for the controlling controlling means we have the open loop control we have the closed loop control so generally open loop control and closed loop control we have to know the differences closed loop means automatically open loop means we have to give the manual so in industrial applications, we require the automatic control. So that purpose, we have to take the one unit that is called as a sensing unit, which is connected between the motor and load. So sensing unit is connected to the control unit. So control unit is required the input command and that control unit output is goes to the power modulator. So this is the one of the example or kit of the electrical drive. So this is the device or converter. So it is controlling the motor speed. That is called as the electric drive. Now we go for the each part individually. So first one, source or supply. So we have the two types of supplies are available. AC voltage supply, DC voltage supply. Again, AC voltage supply, Single phase supply, three phase supply. So single phase, generally motor drives are different ratings. That means low, medium, high. Low, low level ratings are connected to the single phase and medium and high power uh, drives are connected to the three phase supply. That's all. Next one, power modulator. So power modulator means it is the interface between the source and the the motor so power modulator in this one they are using the converters converter means semiconductor converters semiconductor semiconductor means we have to use the scrs transistor igbt mosfet like that these are the semiconductor devices next one we need the definitions of the each converter then only you can understand the block diagram so first one rectifier so rectifier means which converts the 
fixed ac voltage to variable dc voltage so far which converts the fixed dc voltage to variable dc voltage inverter which converts the dc voltage to ac voltage cyclo converter which converts the fixed ac voltage to variable ac voltage with changing frequency ac voltage controller which converts fixed ac voltage to variable ac voltage without changing frequency for example to understand this uh, all converters first uh, we have to know the motor motor also different types are there one is the ac motor one is the dc motor for example you take the dc motor here now we have to select the power modulator so output is dc here so we have the two converters are available output is dc okay rectifier ac to dc chopper dc to dc so we can use here is the rectifier or chopper when the motor is dc next one the same motor is ac you have to use the remaining three converters okay inverter simply say dc to ac ac to ac ac to ac so like that we have to understand the block diagram now the motor is connected to the load So motor has the AC motor and DC motor. AC motor have different types: synchronous motors, synchronous induction motors, okay, like that. And uh, DC motors: shunt motor, series motor, subred excitor motor, compound motor, like this. Now we discuss about here control circuit. So control circuit means this two blocks is contains the control circuit. Control circuit. First we talk about the control unit. Or we go for the sensing unit okay come to here the sensing unit can connect between the motor and load so the what are the output parameters of the motor voltage current and speed these are the output parameters of the motor these are sensing by the sensing parameter or sensing unit observe here these units are connected to the these factors or parameters are connected to the control unit so control unit input command is the set setting speed suppose you take the here is the speed is the reference value so the speed is taking feedback so here is the set speed so here voltage is sensing voltage setting so i current current is sensing here means current set okay now control unit contains the firing circuits firing circuits means you have to develop the pulses these pulses are given to the power modulator power modulator so control unit consists of the firing circuits uh, linear digital circuits integrated circuits and fuzzy logic or digital signal processing or microprocessors so these all are the controllers are controlling the power modulator these power modulator is controlling the voltage of the motor and the speed of the motor this speed is control the load this is the total electrical block diagram electrical drive block diagram this total is called as the electrical drive block diagram applications of the electrical drive so industrial and domestic applications so rolling mills paper machines textile mills machine tools fans pumps robots and washing machines observe here everywhere you are using the motor motor means speed controlling so speed is controlled by the converters so converters are controlling by the control unit so these are the applications advantages of the electrical drives Drive, these drives are available with a wide range of power torque and speed so we have to understand the technical words wide range wide range means any value to any value so like that we have to understand electrical drives are free from pollution electrical drives operate on all quadrants of split torque plane so all quadrants means 1 2 3 4 quadrants we have available here so depend on application we have to select the quadrants also so like that the speed is controlling that means forward motoring reverse motoring and braking forward braking reverse braking like that we'll discuss later all these things
and uh, to improve the efficiency of the drive and uh, next uh, disadvantage of the electrical drive applications of the drive is limited because it cannot be used in a place where the power supply is not available okay and uh, it can cause noise pollution the initial cost of the system is high it has poor dynamic response and one more disadvantage is there uh, controlling uh, also somewhat problem okay so to suppose you are writing fuzzy logic do you have to develop the code or you are using microprocessor you have to develop the code or program in the microprocessor so this is about the video thanks for watching